<clears throat> okay. This is an update video for the one I made a while back for Source Filmmaker not wanting to work by someday it just magically say you clicked on it and it just decided, hey, I don't want to work today. And you don't know why. You just click on it and, well, nothing. Like, literally, nothing. No window pops up. Nothing. Period. Zip. Done. Out. So, I'm here to show you today that it is more simple than you think. In the old video, I showed uh, that it took me 16 hours to figure this out. Holy hell. That was crazy. Sitting behind a computer for 16 hours? Like that? Kind of makes it stressful. So, I'm here to take some of that away. And I'm making this video because, well, I have upgraded my brain a little bit. So, I know how to use my recording stuff a little bit better. The audio, maybe. I don't know. The visuals, definitely. Um, so, I'm just making this less gritty than before. It's more crisp. It's more clear. Maybe to help you see things that maybe was hard to see before. Plus, you know, I'm not a big fan of bad quality videos. I like to try my very best to make something that looks decent. I'm not the type of person to put something out if it ain't. My standards. Bad? I'm not putting it out. Unless, you know, it's intentionally. It's supposed to look bad. But, uh, with that, we're going to get into this. <coughs> I'm starting to get a cold, so I don't know what's going on there. Okay, here's your Source Filmmaker thing right there. This is for Windows 10, by the way, nothing else. So, I have mine in the start area right here somewhere, alright? Okay, so this, right here, Source Filmmaker. There it is. Alright, I want to open it, here we go. Oh, I thought I clicked it. Nothing? Uh, let's say you look up uh, SFM not launching. Is that right? No. Maybe. No, I didn't. At the end. Let's see. And as you can tell, all that purple is me looking it up. Oh, look, there's what? There's me. Okay, there's the old video right there. Um. So I go here, and it says things that. None of it helped, okay? It said validate this, validate that, do this, this, and this. I'll show you that doing that does not work. So you have your thing here under Steam. You want to go and launch it there? Oh, won't work. Running, syncs, and stops. So you go to your properties, set your launch options, and it has an option for dash no Steam, okay? What this is, is it basically says, hey, Source Filmmaker, don't use workshop files. Don't be loading stuff from Steam's community thing. That's what the command basically is. Don't, don't get stuff from the workshop. So you did that. Launch again. See if that worked. Nothing. Same exact thing. But if you launch SDK... You will, it will work. Always work. Everything here will work. I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but let me show you that everything else ain't working. Launch it through here. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 Pissed. You've been doing it for hours. You uninstall and reinstall it. Blah de blah de blah. So, what I'm gonna do. So goddamn simple. It'll blow your mind. It blew mine when I figured it out. How I figured it out? I don't know. I was tired. That's why the video that went up at 3 in the morning was like, Ugh. Uh, let's see. All right. So you did all that. You did everything possible. The community said do this, validate this and that. It also said something along the lines of under local files, you verify the integrity of the application. Don't work. Don't. Blah. So, what you're going to do is, this is going to get a little tricky. If you're on Windows 10, use the Start button here, right-click, and go to Task Manager. It'll pop up this. This is what it'll look like. All right. 
done. Okay, now let's get this a little close because you're going to need to be a little quick on the draw with your mouse on this one. <coughs> Ready? All right, double click. It'll pop up under the S's somewhere down here. N R S. Okay, G G S. Okay, somewhere between here and here. Double click it. There it is, but it goes away. There's a problem. It doesn't want to load. Do it again. Right click on it before it goes away and go to properties. You gotta be quick or else it ain't gonna pop up. This window will pop up. Alright. Under a compatibility tab. Wow. Under that tab, there's a little checkbox that says compatibility mode for Windows 8 and all your older ones. If for some odd reason you're running on Windows 95 in 2017 for Source Filmmaker, my god. That's just for operating system stuff, right? We're on Windows 10. That's not on the list. There's your problem. Uncheck that damn box. Get it out, get it out of here. Shit. Get out. Shoot. Shoot. All right. Uncheck that. Hit apply or okay, whichever works best for you. You're done. You are done with everything. That's all you had to do. I know I'm pushing this video. This is all you had to do. Just That's it. But now, oh, it'll work. In a second. Give it a second. There. It'll work. I hope that helped. Now, if for some odd reason this is still happening, the same damn thing, uh, I'm at loss for words at the moment for that. But if it still happens, send me a video clip of what you're doing so I could see, because I do best by visualizing it. Rather than just being told, hey, uh, it's still doing that. I don't know why. I don't know. I'll be like, okay, send me a video and I'll see what it does. Go from there. So there's that. That's it. I hope this helped. I know it gave me hell over something as simple as a checkbox. But getting there, surprisingly, was a journey. So, And I was hungry, tired, and annoyed. I was pissed, too, because it took me that long. But I figured it out. Got through it, and I learned something new. So, there's that. I bid you farewell. I hope this helped. Goodbye.